Hey guys, welcome back to HZ Sports. Thank you for stopping by for another video. And there are a lot of transfers happening. It's the last few days. We are, I think we are in the last six days of the transfer window. And there are a lot of deals happening. And one of the biggest deal that I would like to highlight at the moment, uh, which include uh, the Manu, uh, Bangalore offering a two-year contract to Manolo, uh, you know, uh, for, uh, Manolo, which just sounds crazy. Uh, the other one uh, also is one. I want to focus more is Hanan Santana joining FC Goa. So Manolo's deal, of course, I'll just summarize for those who don't know about it. It is uh, Bangalore have offered him a contract, okay, two years contract, which he has not accepted yet, okay, he has not accepted yet, but it basically says that once he signs this contract, he'll be the Bangalore coach for uh, two years. Okay, that's as all what you all need to know. He has not confirmed, he has not signed it yet, and I doubt. He he will considering how well his uh, job at Hyderabad is going unless there's something going behind the scenes uh, which you and I as a fan cannot see uh, then he may leave and join Bangalore but otherwise there's most likely that he will stay at Hyderabad now let's talk about the biggest uh, thing that is Hernan Santana's deal uh, to form a uh, Shinji Chuan to of course FC Goa which is a very interesting because this deal includes money and it also includes something interesting Mumbai city will be earning money from this deal I'll explain this in this video but first of all I want you all to do only two things like this video and hit the subscribe button if you have not done and also if you want to drop your thoughts about this transfer I would be very interested to know so first of all let's talk about uh, Hanan Santana okay I think all of you all knew that Hanan Santana was first playing for Northeast United he was on loan from Sporting Eon uh, to uh, Northeast United after that Northeast wanted to confirm his contract wanted to make him a permanent signing but then uh, Sporting Gion uh, when he went back to Sporting Gion and and his contract ended at Sporting Gion, so he came to Mumbai City. Uh, and Mumbai City, he was exceptional, okay? A top player played both as a centre back and centre defensive midfield role, mostly centre back, but was exceptionally good. And after that, uh, that season got over. Sergio Lobeva went to, of course, we all know he went to China, and then with him, Hanan Santana also went. Before that, Hanan Santana was rumored to join maybe Odisha or Hyderabad, but uh, it didn't work out. He went uh, to uh, China with Sergio Lobeva at China. Shinji Juan season was not that good they didn't get promoted uh, he, as a centre defensive midfielder slash centre back uh, you couldn't expect anything much from Hanan Santana in terms of goals but he did play quite a match, lot of matches about 20 matches he played uh, and yes now he's back in the Indian Super League but there's an issue here Hanan Santana is still in contract with uh, Shinji Juan he was offered like all the other two foreign players Edu Gracia and George Ortiz he was offered a two year contract and so to for that contract to be broken FC Goa have to pay a transfer fee now Valiente is injured that's why Hanan Santana is the signing that is being done uh, and uh, Shinji Chuan are fine with letting uh, him to go but they also want a particular transfer fee to be paid they're not allowing uh, Hanan Santana to go to on a fee so the uh, Hanan Santana is valued at 1.6 crores, but FC Goa may get him at a cheap price uh, in the range of 40 to 60 lakhs. Okay, so I don't know how FC Goa will deal this out or how the cost structure is going to be, but there's a clause. Okay, this is mostly with uh, many when it comes between uh, uh, CFG owned clubs. Okay, and one clause which I do believe from a particular source can't say his name of course uh, told me that uh, there is a clause in uh, uh, the players the ISL players who have joined Shinji Juan there's a clause which states that uh, it states basically states that if Hernan Santana uh, joins any ISL club ISL okay mind you ISL club which uh, apart from Mumbai City 
then Mumbai City are entitled to 10% of the transfer fee. Means Mumbai City will be earning 10% of the total transfer fee that is paid. Now this is a spec. Uh, you know this is just a rumor once again. No confirmed news. But if this happens, let's assume Hernan Santana joins FC Goa for 60 lakhs. Uh, 54 lakhs will go to Shinji Juan and 6 lakhs will go to Mumbai City. So Mumbai City are basically winning in this deal. Uh, irrespective to how Hernan Santana plays at FC Goa will be something to be seen. But over Mumbai City are winning and this is the big news that has been coming up recently and it's getting very interesting and I'm very interested to know if this deal is already confirmed but if this clause actually exists or not of course Mumbai City would just not go out and type on their Instagram Twitter saying that yes we earned 5-6 lakhs from uh, the deal but if it does happen you know it's all all right all fine uh, in transfers these things do happen and uh, to give you an example James Rodriguez uh, you know I think the Colombian player who was playing for Everton Real Madrid uh, Bayern Munich and he also had a contract in which I think 10% of his transfer fee used to go to his uh, childhood club or the first club that he started his career in so similar things occur here especially when it's between two uh, CFG clubs it can ha be there cannot be there depends on them okay so you guys tell me your thoughts about this what do you feel Hanan Santana coming in as a valiant replacement good or not Santana is more of a center defensive center back player so it's going to be interesting maybe Edu Bedia is going to play more as a center mid now and center attacking mid it'll be interesting to see guys tell me your thoughts in the comments thank you so much for watching this video do like share subscribe see all the more videos coming soon in the near future goodbye take care stay safe